Well, in 2001, when uh, that was my first competition, actually, so we're vying to get the grand prize in Rezzo. And uh, alam na mga choristers yan and conductors that when you join a competition, may mga nanonood na mga organizers from other competitions. And that's how we had got to know the the Torrevieja competition. There was a uh, there was a couple na sumusunod-sunod sa kanya after the competition at saka in-invite siya to join the competition in Spain. And from there, the rest is history. So the Torre Vieja competition. Uh, this competition is not really part of the top six European competitions whose first prize winners vie for the EGP, the European Grand Prix for Choral Singing the following year, but it is a league of its own. The 2005 experience in Torrevieja for me was a very, very memorable one uh, on a personal level. Torrevieja competition was held in July, which was basically towards the end of the tour. And at that time, several of our alumni who, who joined the tour in the beginning already went home because they had uh, limited uh, leaves from work. So. Um, Kuya Head had to rebalance the sections and he had to find a way to fill the gaps. The night or maybe two nights before our scheduled performance, Kuya had noticed that the sections were still not balanced no matter how hard we tried. Um, so yeah, I remember he, he actually said to Kuya Paeng, Nako, kapag hindi ka sumali sa amin, Baka matalo pa at kasalanan mo pa <laughs> or something like that, that to that effect. So, na conscientious naman si Kuya Paeng. And that's why yun, he 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 joined. So, he was kind of cornered by Kuya Ed. <laughs> eh kaya talagang napasali na rin siya because he didn't want to be the reason for for if Upsa lost. So, inaaral yung mga songs ng mabilisan. Then, lo and behold, may kita mo siya sa mga video kit kit niya. Piyesa siya tapos na ako. It was also our first time na makita si Kuya Pain na kumanta mag-perform. For those who know Kuya Pain, this was such a big thing. He rehearsed with us, he wore the Uksa costume, went on stage, and sang with us in the bass section. It's a fond memory that we would tease him with and he would also laugh about. It is this kind of special moment shared with special people that makes singing really meaningful. I'm grateful for this particular trip to Torrevia because it gave us this precious memory of people. <laughs> Makikita niyo si Kuya Paeng, nakakatuwa. Mukha siyang grade 5 na nakasalamin at kumakantang may hawak na pyesa. Ang maganda, nanalo kami. He added the texture in the bass section during that time. That's why um, probably one of our lucky charms as well na nanalo kami that time. Because that was our first time to join that competition. Uh, Kuya Ed also felt that there was really a lack in sopranos kasi totoo naman dahil nakauwi na yung ibang sopranos noon. And this is the main reason why this is personally very unforgettable for me and I think also to Ate Edna. Alto kami pareho ni Ate Edna. She was alto 1, I was alto 2. Eh ayun, biglang sinabi ni Kuya Ed, Edna Mads, kailangan ko kayong mag-soprano. <laughs> Kulang ang tunog ng soprano. Kailangan ko ng makapal na tunog. So yun, um, naging soprano kami overnight ni Ate Edna. So sabi namin ni Mads para, Paano yun? Soprano to kami, Kuya Ed? Oo, oh, oh, para kumapal. I think yun yung one of the reasons. Hindi lang nakulay yung soprano. But I think because habaneras nga, we were free to have more vibratos, mas makapal na boses.
seeing Kuyed being in his element. During the rehearsals, it was like there was just some magic coming out of his hand and of his instructions. Kasi andun, may mafeel ka na something eh. There is an unseen energy na parang babalot, babalot sa loob ng room na kung saan makakasama kami. And that energy would like bring us together, closer. I can say that uh, in Terebeha, that's almost always the feeling that I have felt during the entire stay na nung nandun kami. In 2005, maraming mga galing doon. Uh, may mga taga Cuba na of course kanila madali nang kantahin yung mga habaneras. Sa atin hindi rin masyadong mahirap kasi na, nasa dugo din natin niya at saka may mga kanta tayo na na influenced by by Spanish songs. In habaneras I I clearly remember Kuya Ed saying that be free in bring out your vibratos and everything. Trivieja 2005 was indeed memorable. It was the first time for a choir to win the three top prizes. Trivieja 2005 is basically Bacchion Grande. Every day nag -be beach kami, every day nag swimming kami. Parang wala sa competition, parang mabakasyon ka lang. When I think about the place Torre Vieja, the first thing that comes to my mind as a choral person is about the venue for the most um, laid-back choral competition in the world, at least for me. My first impression when we got to Torre Vieja was are we really competing? Is this a competition? Because upon arrival, we were greeted by this beautiful ocean view and the warm weather of Spain. And the hotel guests that we were housed with were on their holiday and they were on vacation mode. So the vibe was really interesting in that it wasn't competitive and tense. It was exciting and festive. I remember during our spare time, we'd go swimming, we'd do our morning runs, you know, trying to get fit because we've eaten a lot the night before and we'd just bask in the sun, trying to get that Mediterranean bronze skin. Very calming yung Torre Vieja. Ang ganda beach. And at the end of the tour, paano kami mga nog nog. Nag-up na lang kami ng mga servidora doon, mga servers, kasi si Kuya pa yung nagpapasimuno na ililigpit yung mga kinainan. Magkakaroon pa kami ng competition na sinong pinakamagandang pagkaligpit ng table. All the tables are clean. You can't really pick a winner, but it's a good exercise. And if you hear the staff in the mess hall, they would be surprised and they'd always compliment the clean Filipinos, they would say.
I was always looking forward to the meals, especially breakfast. So eggs, pork and beans, a lot of ham. It was just so much fun. Yogurt, yogurt, uh, a lot of yogurt. Kitang kita ko po. Pinasok ni Kuya Oliver. Pinasok niya yung yogurt sa kanyang bulsa. Hindi lang isa. Dalawang yogurt. At paglingo kay Kuya P, punong-puno yung jacket niya ng yogurt. Kinabahan ako sa sobrang takot ko. Kumuha ko ng apat. Apat na yogurt. Iba ibang flavor. After 13 years, Upsa decided to go on tour once more. Gearing up for the Arezzo competitions in 2018, they included the Certamen Internacional de Habaneras e Polifonia de Torbeja as one of the stops in their itinerary. The 2018 Torre Vieja tour signified OPSA's successful comeback from the fun-filled and victorious 51st Certamen Internacional de Habaneras y Polifonia de Torre Vieja in 2005. It also signified a time to relax together and recharge for then-upcoming Arezzo competitions. The competition as a whole was very organized had the best sound system, had the best set of judges, had the best ambience, I should say, for any of the competitions that we, me personally have joined with UPSA. During our stay in Torre Vieja, we were housed in this beautiful hotel by the beach called Hotel Playa de Torre Vieja, where we stayed with all the other participating choirs. To be honest, it was quite a sight because the whole place was bustling with activity. There were so many people everywhere, the lobby, the hallways, and you would just hear talking everywhere, just seeing people eating together, swimming, rehearsing together. So the whole place was just filled with music and laughter. <laughs> On our rest hours, some of us rested in our rooms, enjoying the air conditioning and respite from the pH heat. <laughs> but the rest of us, we took to the beach and the pools. We take beach photos, enjoy the salty air, swim of course, and the warm sun just bronzing and tanning our skin. Like the tourists we were. Admittedly, we we actually enjoyed ourselves too much in the sun. That. On the day to perform in the competition, our foundation shades didn't quite match us anymore. Another thing that I enjoyed when we were in Torre Vieja was meeting new people and making new friends. So we were with a lot of participating choirs and we also shared a lot of performances with them in other towns near Torre Vieja. And one of those was in Villarico, Spain. And we sang with this Colombian choir, of which we made very good friends with. I remember after our performance, we were all backstage and we were huddled around these round tables that was filled with food and drinks and we were all just eating and drinking and talking together and just having fun and it was just a really nice way to end that night and on the way home, we were also singing a lot of the Habanera songs that we performed in the competition. That was a really, really good experience and memory for me. I think for UPSA members, there is a sort of bias <laughs> towards Torre Vieja when we plan out a European tour. 
when we're preparing for competitions, our schedule is really rigid and the Riviera really helps us to take a sort of breather. For me, looking at the choirs we were up against, each and every one of them had their own oomph. They had their own moxie. They had their own spice. And they had their own culture to make known to the rest of the world through this very competition, which has existed for years. And my batch and I, first time tours, first time competitors, <laughs> it was super overwhelming and I don't know what it was about Toro Vieja that made us so relaxed amidst all of that. Because what affected us more in our performance, I feel, was not the external aspect of it. It wasn't how pressured or otherwise we were with respect to our competitors. It wasn't how much we thought of how well Opsa might have done in the years before or the feeling of having to redeem ourselves for this time around. It was more of an internal thing. We really had to learn how to dig deep and find that strength not through the eyes of others, but through our own eyes, through our own hearts, to know in ourselves that while we're singing, the people beside me, the people in front of me or behind me, I know they're going to do well, so I have to do well. I think that came out for the first time maybe in that tour. Bueno, siempre he pensado que toda gran toda gran anécdota, que toda gran historia eh, es el cúmulo de muchas de muchos factores, de muchas situaciones que casualmente empezaron a converger y que termina resultando en eso, en una experiencia que tal vez con el pasar de los años no se va a olvidar y que en lo personal creo que no lo olvidaré. Eh, en este caso, el, digamos, esta buena relación, esa amistad que se creó entre el coro de la UNAV, en el, en el que yo pertenezco, y el coro de UPSA de Filipinas, eh, pienso que no pude haber tenido un mejor entorno, en este caso un espacio en el que creo que todo gran director y todo gran coro ha anhelado o sueña estar y como lo es eh, el escenario del certamen de Habaneras y Polifonía en Torrevieja, España. En el 2018 tuvimos y tuve la oportunidad de, de estar ahí, de competir ahí y de compartir podio junto con uno de los coros más increíbles eh, que alguna vez he visto como es el Coro Uxa de Filipinas. Eh, creo que ya se ha dicho todo de ellos. O sea, musicalmente es un coro increíble, mm, son muy, muy, muy pulidos técnicamente hablando, eh, muy comprometidos, personas sumamente estudiosas, sumamente rigurosas en todo aspecto. Pero creo que la anécdota que vengo a contar hoy abre un poco más el, el esquema y hace que esta experiencia no se vuelva un, un momento más, un momento que tal vez se olvide, un momento de sí, conocí este coro, es un momento de conocí gente espectacular y creo que pude hacer lazos de amistad muy buenos. Eh, recuerdo que una de, una de las noches después, del, después de la, del certamen, después de ya haber terminado la, la premiación, eh, por casualidad eligen al coro de la UNAV y al coro de UPSA para viajar una, a una localidad, a un pueblo cercano a Torrevieja y dar un concierto de extensión. Sin embargo, pues creo que ninguno de nosotros pensaba que debido a diferentes situaciones, de diferentes interacciones, íbamos a volvernos, digamos, tan cercanos. Dimos un concierto en conjunto, fue algo muy bonito, pudimos cantar a forma de masa coral, digámoslo, eh, la obra obligada, en tus ojos vive el mar. 
después del concierto donde pudimos mostrar, digamos, lo mejor del folclore, de, del repertorio que ambos coros teníamos, pudimos eh, llegar a interactuar un poco más en una cena, pero en lo personal creo que uno de los momentos más lindos fue ya de vuelta en el bus, íbamos de nuevo hacia Torre Vieja, eh, empezamos a cantar entre ambos coros, digámoslo, eh, mostrando de la forma un poco más privada lo que, lo que cada uno de nosotros era. Y creo que fue muy lindo y un sueño en lo personal haber escuchado eh, The Circle of Life, el, la obra del, eh, de la banda sonora del Rey León por parte de ellos y que creo que es, es un himno para todo coro filipino. De verdad fue una experiencia sumamente linda, pude conocer personas increíbles, personas con las que aún ahora, después de tantos años, eh, me sigo hablando o sigo teniendo contacto con ellos, como lo son Seth, como lo son Abby, y que de verdad espero que en algún momento podamos volver a encontrarnos. Eh, empecé hablando tal vez de la parte musical, pero creo que lo más importante es que eh, me di cuenta y nos dimos cuenta la calidad de personas que hay en el coro en el coro Ups, porque en toda regla pasan de ser solo personas que están ahí por cantar, tal vez porque les agrada un viaje, son una familia y creo que eso es lo que más me impresionó, son una familia en todo el sentido de la palabra y de verdad me siento honrado y me siento muy orgulloso de haberlos podido escuchar, de poder ser amigo de muchos de ellos y, y de ser parte de, esta, de este recordatorio de su historia. Quiero decirle al, al Coro Upsa felicidades, de todo corazón felicidades por estos 40 años de trayectoria, totalmente merecidos, son un coro increíble y que espero que de aquí a muchísimos años sigan haciendo música tan espectacular como la que saben hacer, pero sobre todo sigan siendo esas personas que son, esa gran calidad de personas que son. Creo que eso sería todo. Bye. Hi there, my name is Andres Gomez and I'm a former member of the Universidad Autónoma de Bucaramanga Colombia Choir. The first time I saw uh, the UPSA Choir performing, I was really impressed. Uh, it was two years ago in the um, Certamen Internacional de Baneras y Polifonía eh, de Torre Vieja, Spain. Um, the blending of the voices and the performance of each work was uh, incredible, was outstanding. We also had the opportunity to share the stage at an extension concert. Um, and it was there that UPSA presented a much more varied and free repertoire in which they showed their versatility. Uh, the quality was always very high, no matter uh, what genre they sang. Uh, it was there also in that shared concert that I had the opportunity to get closer to some of its members. And they're really nice, they're really kind and humble. I could see it's a very committed and disciplined choir, and that shows it on stage. Happy 48th anniversary, my friends, and I hope you continue making a high standard music. Bye-bye. See you next time. Upsa's tour in 2018 was very special for a lot of reasons. It was a culmination of hard work, 
a determined entourage and the universe is perfect timing. Surface level, the odds are really against us. <laughs> Number one, 80% of the members of the entourage at that time were competing for the first time. So there are significant generation gaps. <laughs> And number two, we had a short preparation. And number three, we really needed to raise funds. But despite that, my gut was telling me that everything was going to be okay. One of the pillars of UPSA, Kuya Paeng, really gave Kuya Ed and the members his his brand of encouragement and support for us to really pursue the tour. Twenty eighteen Torre Vieja experience was a completely different one. It was the same competition, same venue. Maybe same food, probably same hotel. It looked very familiar, um, but it was a completely different story. Several weeks before Torre Vieja, Kuya Paeng fell really, really ill. He was rushed into the hospital um, in Germany and then he went into a coma. And that was very, very shocking for us. Very challenging for Kuya Ed and for the whole group. We didn't see it coming, and some people had to take turns in taking care of Kuya Paeng and being with him, um, being in the hospital to, to monitor his condition. Um, at the same time, the group had to continue uh, traveling, they had to move to the next destination because they had um, scheduled performances now. But more than anything else, all we really wanted was for Kuya Paeng to get well. Um, and the competition was really, it was more secondary na to us. Ang mahalaga na malagpasan ni Kuya Paeng yung pinagdaanan. But then at the same time, we also knew deep in our hearts that Kuya Paeng would never want to be in our way of um, achieving our dreams, achieving our goal, the UPSA goals. In the first place, he is the best example of someone who dedicated his life to UPSA and the causes that uh, UPSA wanted to promote or to champion. Kaya super pa talaga yung experience na yun for us. Things were out of our hands anymore at the time. Really, the best thing to do was to continue praying for him for his recovery while giving our all for the competition. Give our very best, give everything we have got our voices, our minds, especially our hearts. Para talaga yun kay Kuya Paeng. And yeah, come evening, awarding ceremony, results were going to be announced. We were all feeling so down and in deep grief. We couldn't even go to Kuya Paeng because we're so far away. But we knew that somehow we needed to help Kuya Ed to stay strong, even just for that particular evening, because that was also important. But we also felt that Kuya Ed was actually being strong for all of us too. He was also trying to carry us all in his shoulders emotionally. Kuya Paeng passed away on the day of the announcement of the winners in Trevia. And we won all first prizes. Two thousand eighteen was tough. 
We have to prove that UPSA deserved the 2005 wins. It was quite a challenge. It was mind over matter. It was heart over notes. It was survival during a storm. And finally, we emerged winners. Again, the top three prizes win in exchange of a loss. Kuya Paeng. It was bittersweet. In a way, I think in a way it was Kuya Paeng's way of saying that Tara Vieja was his favorite competition. <laughs> The 2019 comeback was a guest performance for last year's Habanera competitions in Torre Vieja. It was the right venue to prepare UPSA for the EGP. Strenuous but enjoyable preparation enhanced by a Mediterranean holiday experience. Going there in 2019 for the second time, we traveled 30 hours by bus because we were coming from Liège in Belgium. We were set to arrive very early in the morning of the day we were to have the opening performance. Because of this, the choir resorted to rehearsing in the bus, having sectionals with their flashlights and phones while traveling. We never really minded our circumstance back then since we were looking forward to being in Torbeja. It is difficult to exactly pinpoint what about the town has enchanted UPSA members to be so fond of going back. Maybe something about the friendliness of the people. Or the summer breeze mixed with the warmth of the sun. The waves of the ocean. And the entrancing music of the habaneras which infiltrate your senses whenever you are there. Coming back to Toro Vieja, it's a good feeling because we were currently preparing for the European Grand Prix. We also took the time there to be able to rehearse, of course, but I feel like it was also an avenue for us to relax as well, to unwind, to refocus our energies and our purpose and our intent amidst all the pressures, of course, of the competition ahead. So it was a good stay as well. It was a good part of the whole tour that we had in 2019. It's our safe place to rest and relax and to reflect and remember. And it will always have a special place in our hearts. It was so exciting to be back in Torre Vieja as guest performers. This time, we were able to hold concerts in other towns like Rojales and Albox. In the latter, we performed with the Agados Chamber Choir of Seoul, Korea. They were so lovely and so friendly. Although we only had one concert with them, we bonded instantly. Congratulations on your 40th anniversary. Congratulations on your 40th anniversary. I'm glad to leave such a congratulatory message because of my last year's relationship. I'm still impressed with your performance. 
Congratulations! You can say you are very friendly and I was able to connect with the members with ease. I wish the best of luck to the UPSA moving forward and may you all stay safe during the pandemic. I hope to sing together someday. Congratulations! Congratulations on your anniversary! Congratulations, UPSA! Vieja has always been a special place for Opsa. From 2005 until 2019, Opsa just can't help but come back to this wonderful town in Alicante, Spain. Apart from its sandy beaches and its pink salt lakes, Torre Vieja is extra special because of the experiences and memories we share there together. Having joined UPSA in Torre Vieja last year, I finally understood why Kuya Ed and other UPSA friends raved about it. Aside from the endearing Abanera musical experience, the scenic and beautiful coastline, the warm Mediterranean summer, and the distinct Torre Vieja charm can captivate anyone's heart. It was so easy to love. The competition and festival in Torre Vieja concretely showed us the concept of serious play that Kuya Ed would always talk about and keep reminding us of. We need focus and seriousness to be able to deliver quality performance, but at the same time, we should also not forget to enjoy the beautiful surroundings, the company of the people you're with, and that particular moment itself. And it is through this balance of discipline and enjoyment that we're able to give this kind of music that speaks with emotions. A kind of music that is not only heard but also felt. And somehow, the Torre Vieja experience taught us that. Nevertheless, our experience at Torre Vieja would not be as meaningful without the hospitality and friendships of the people we have met there. Our experience of the previous year was greatly enjoyable because of those that we have gotten to know in the competition. That is why, aside from sportsmanship, Torre Vieja for us became a venue of camaraderie. Getting to know different people and finding appreciation for the diversities and cultures of other choirs. That is also why we looked forward to going back. One of the most memorable things that come to mind whenever I think about Torre Vieja is all of the opportunities we've had to share our music and make other people happy. 
there was a time we had to rehearse in a small salon and in thanks we sang songs for them and to see the wonder in their eyes and the joy in their smiles made it so worth it. You know, Upsa has always believed that music has a unifying effect. The Torrevieja experience where the participants and audience of different nationalities and diverse backgrounds came together to sing and celebrate music only proves that music is a great equalizer. It can bridge gaps and differences. Music can indeed bring people together. Torrevieja is a town that screams rest, relaxation, and culture because of how the main focus of their tourism is not just the sand, the sea, and the salt, but it's also the heart of the music, which I think fits really well with what Upsa strives for, to bring music from the heart. It was weird. It was like the spirit of the city was holding on to all of us, grounding us, not in the places we've been to, not in the competitions we've experienced together, not in the good memories, not in the bad memories, but it grounded us towards each other. For Upsa, creating beautiful music is not just about memorizing notes and showcasing vocal techniques. More importantly, it is about building good relationships with Kuya Ed, with the Upsa artists and Kuyas, the members and the trainees. It is the on and off stage bonding. And the Torre Vieja experience helped create that. To know how much joy music brings is an amazing power. And I'm so glad that we had the opportunity to share that and spread that joy and happiness to everybody. You know, it was one of those stops during the European tour where you get to pause and reflect and become extra grateful that you are part of UPSA. To describe Torre Vieja in two words, maybe Mediterranean tan, or uh, sabihin na natin, pwede namang happy moment. That will be two Ks, kainan and kantahan. Refreshing. Sanctuary. Es nuestro santuario. Cultural, passionate, and is wonderful. Welcoming. Lead back. It's like magical. Warm. Torrevieja is like home. The Torrevieja competition was significant for UPSA because it really showed the group's strength, our strength, our depth as a group amidst very overwhelming situations. It really showed how strong the group was, how deep the group was, how we channeled you know, that sense of despair and uncertainty that we were all feeling. To translate that into hope and inspiration is really a show of strength.
asal transform that feeling of sadness and hopelessness into strength and inspiration uh, to give our very best in the competition. So if you would ask me if I were to describe Torre Vieja in one word, it would be resilience. If you were to ask me to describe Torre Vieja in one word, for me Torre Vieja is gratitude or la gratitud, you know. We're grateful for the experience of agony and triumph and the sweetness of pain. Um, gratitude for the joy of togetherness and the sadness of distance. We are thankful for being at our weakest, where we are most vulnerable, and using that same vulnerability as our strength to pull ourselves up again. You know, gratitude for the beauty of bidding farewell to someone so dear and letting his great memories live on. It's like when you've lost everything, yet hope still remains. The Torre Vieja experience is monumental. In Torre Vieja, UPSA experienced achievements and triumph amidst trials and challenges, where people united in times of adversity and success, when people realized their own weaknesses turned into strength, how people were awakened that our faith is in our faith in the most supreme being. When we became prayerful and thankful for all we are, and what we have, being grateful not only for good things but for tribulations that make us stronger. Gratitude to the Creator, the Giver, and the Healer. <laughs>